Brad, any more, uh, any more run-ins with Drickus over at the PI? <laughs> no, not, no awkward ones. Haven't seen him since the other day. Uh, listen, I mean, we talked about 12 years in at this point, man. I mean, are there still nerves? Are there still excitement, emotions? Or is this just like, you know, a week of work for you? Nah, yeah, it's still always there. At the end of the day, I'm getting in a cage in front of thousands of people and fighting another man. So there's still, you know, those type of nerves. I, I think I've been blessed throughout my career to not, like, I see some people, like, you see it on their face, you see it in their body language, you know, they get really worked up. Um, I find it all kind of fun, you know, like, that's why I got into this. I, I like fighting. I love fighting. Um, so, yeah, but it, definitely I can't tell you, like, oh, yeah, I've been doing this so long, it's just whatever, you know, I'm not, like, numb to it. It still feels like I'm going to fight. Yeah. Uh, and fighting in Las Vegas, so, do you prefer that? Like, being here, I know it's home for you now, or do you, do you wish you were getting to travel a little bit? Or? Nah, 100%. I, I love being here. I love being close to my family, um, my daughters, uh, and it's just easier, you know? Like, I get to go to my gym, I get to sleep in my bed, eat the foods that I'm used to eating, Nothing really changes for me, so I love fighting here, you know. What do you make of Drickus as an opponent? I mean, is there anything that he does that you've seen on tape or watched that you're like, oh, that, I've never seen that before? Or do you feel like you've, it's just kind of something that you've seen at this point? No, no, no. I, he a uh, t- tough guy, and I, I think he actually is different than a lot of um, the other guys out there. He, his style is, is a little different. He reminds me. Um, kind of like an Elias Theodoro, um, very unorthodox in the way they do things. Um, so, yeah, I, I think very tough, very game, and I think that's what he brings to the table is he is a little different than everybody else. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, a win here. Do you have expectations of what comes next? Like, do you feel like, hey, n- now you guys owe me a ranked opponent. Now you guys owe me to, to, to fight up, or, or does that concern you? Nah, not at all. I'm going to go out there beat this guy, and then we'll go back to the drawing board and see, you know, I'll talk with Ali and my team, and we'll see what's next. Brad, over here. Um, you fought Israel Adesanya on International Fight Week a few years ago. I know you had some injuries going into that fight, but you fought, I mean, John just mentioned it there, you've been in the UFC for a long time. You have a lot of experience. How much will that pay dividends in this fight just because you've seen so many different fighters, whereas, you know, Drake is maybe not fighting the caliber opponents that you fought? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's one thing to, it, I always say this, it's one thing to get to the UFC. It's a complete different animal to stay there. You know, it's, it's hard work and, and it's, uh, it's something, uh, a goal of all these fighters to get there. But then to stay here, to stay competitive, to stay winning fights. You see guys, you, you think they're going to be the next best thing, you know, on these hype trains. And some of them, it works out for them. Um, and they go on and do great things, and others wash out really quickly. Um, so Drakus is, as far as the UFC goes, very young, um, and I think that I do have that above him. He does have a lot of fights, so that he'll have that experience, but I have that UFC experience. You know, I've been here for a long time, so yeah, I think I definitely have that edge on him. You look great in your last couple of fights. Is that just being healthy? Is that just, you know, not, not dealing with injuries and sort of having that time off uh, previously? Is, is that sort of the, a big culprit for the success lately? Oh, I, I think it's just the training we do. You know, you got to keep – I think what happens with a lot of the guys that have been around a long time is, one, they get comfortable and they get complacent. They think that they've done it, they're here, they don't need to keep learning and growing and evolving, and that's – not true at all there's younger hungry guys doing different things that have been doing it from a young age because of the the, where the sport is now and you need to you need to keep evolving your game so that you can constantly compete and i think that's what you see um as far as injuries i was telling john in an interview we did recently before i fought omari i actually fractured my elbow i tore a ligament in it um banged it up pretty bad um luckily i was able to get you know through the fight um but we as fighters, I don't think anybody ever necessarily goes into any fight 100% injury-free. There's always something. And just last one for me. Um, I know Edmund Shabazzian's been doing some training in Vegas. Have you got to work with him at all? Uh, just because, uh, you know, obviously you two fought each other. No, so we ran into each other, and he actually, you know, he's such a cool guy. Yeah. Um, when he first got to town, he came up to me, approached me, and he's like, hey, man, uh, like, basically, like, I-, I plan to come and train at Couture's, and I hope – that's, you know, like, all right with you. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, no hard feelings. We fought, and 
I don't know, but I haven't seen him. He's he's been in and out. Hasn't really trained with us too much. I know him and Sean been sparring a little bit over here at the PI, doing their thing. But uh, no, yeah, we haven't gotten to train together yet. Brad, back here to your left. As James was saying, you've looked really good in your last two fights. Two very tough opponents that may not sort of get the, the, the shine that maybe they rightfully deserve. Two wins that'll age very well over the next couple of years. But where you're at right now, 34 years of age, we've seen what Glover Teixeira has done, made that great run. We saw Michael Bisbing did at 185. Do you look to those guys as, as motivating factors, knowing that it doesn't matter how many fights you have or if you've lost a couple, that the age doesn't matter, we could still make a run and, and even get to a title fight. It's never too late. Oh, definitely. You know, those guys are huge inspirations. Um, look at what they've done. I remember when I was in the Ultimate Fighter, hearing about uh, Glover and how he was going to be. At, and at that time, you know, Chuck was one of the best 205ers, uh, former champion and this and that, fighting right up there. And even he said, you know, like, oh, Glover's going to be the next champion. And for visa reasons or whatever, you know, it held him out. I think had that not happened and he was able to come back to the States or whatever it may be and fight, I think he would have been like a long reigning champion a long time ago but again everybody's path is different and you see the path that he took um michael bisping another one started on the ultimate fighter just as i did and had to work long and hard to get to the top and you know some things fell in line he got the opportunity and made the most of it you know went out there knocked out rockwood and and finally got that belt he had been chasing his whole career so yeah definitely look up to these guys and like you know think like oh yeah that's these guys did it easily could do it too and then last thing you've obviously fought Israel Adesanya He's getting ready to defend his title against Jared Cannonier. if you were working with Jared if, if you were the last person to give him advice before he walks out to fight Israel what would you tell him I would tell so what surprised me about Israel is actually how long uh, and rangy he was like it's one thing to go train uh, with long and tall guys but Israel is really a master of of his length and his range so he he was always his harder to hit harder to get to and he he was hitting me from like where i felt like i would kind of be safe he would land some things and i was like oh okay this is different so if i had to tell jared something i'll tell him that all right guys thank you